So let's take a question. Question is, convert the following into radians. Convert the following into radians. Let's take 30 degree first. So to convert 30 degree into radians, we know that 1 degree we know that 1 degree is equals to pi by 180 radians. 1 degree is equals to pi by 180 radians. Therefore, 30 degree will be equals to 30 into pi by 180 radians. 1 degree equals to pi by 180. So, for obtaining 30, we have to multiply this quantity with 30. So, 30 degree will be equals to 30 degree into pi by 180 degree. So, after simplification, 0 gets cancelled out with 0, 3 times 1, and this will go 6 times. So, it will become pi by 6. Let's take another example, 45 degree. We want to convert 45 degree into radians. So, we know that 1 degree is equals to pi by 180 radians. So, 45 degree will be equals to 45 into pi by 180 radians. That is pi remains pi. 180 goes 45 into 4 is 180. So it will become pi by 4. So 45 degree is equals to pi by 4. Let's take another example. Let's convert 60 degree. 60 degree can be written as 60 into pi by 180. 60 into pi by 180. After simplification, it will become pi by 3. 0 to 0 cancel. 6 1 is 6. 6 3 is 18. So pi by 3. Similarly, we can convert 270 degrees into radian. 1 degree equals to pi by 180 radians. So 270 degree would be equals to 270 into pi by 180 radians. After simplification, it will become 3 pi by 2. So 270 degrees is equals to 3 pi by 2 radians. Let's take another example. Let's take another example. Question is, convert minus 47 degree 30 minutes into radians minus 47 degree 30 minutes into radians. So for that purpose, let's convert this complete quantity into degree measure. So it will become 47 30 by 60 degrees. Because we know that in 1 degree there are 60 minutes. So in 1 minute there will be 1 by 60 degrees. So for converting 30 minutes, I have divided it by 60 and it gets converted into degree. Let's proceed. Minus this this gets simplified to 1 by 2 so it becomes 47 1 by 2 degree. So after simplification it will become minus 95 upon 2 degree. So we can write it as we know that 1 degree is equals to pi by 180 radians so 95 by 2 degree with a minus sign will be equals to minus 95 upon 2 into pi by 180 radians so just we need to simplify it for simplification we can divide 95 by 5 and also 180 by 5 so 95 can be written as 19 into 5 and 180 can be written as 36 into 5. 5 and 5 get, gets cancelled out, so we get 19 and 36. After simplification, it will become 19 pi upon 36 into 2, that is 72. Hence the answer. So this is how we can convert 
any degree measures to radians. These are the concepts which we need to memorize. Let's take another question. Let's take another question. The question is convert 11 upon 16 11 upon 16 into degrees. 11 upon 16 here there is no symbol that implies this quantity is in radians. So we need to convert this radian measure into degree measure. For that purpose we know that 1 radian is equals to 180 upon pi degrees. So this much radians, 11 by 16 radians will be equals to 11 upon 16 into 180 upon pi degrees. Now let's put pi equals to 22 by 7. We are putting pi equals to 22 by 7. So here goes 22 and upon 7 will come up over here. We have put the value of pi 22 by 7. 11 times 1. It is 11 into 2. So after simplification it will become 180 into 7 upon 16 into 2 degrees. After further simplification, 2 1s are 2, 2 90s are 180. So it will become 90 into 7 upon 16 degrees. It is 2 into 8 and it is 2 into 45. So it will become 45 into 7 upon 8 degrees. Let's multiply the numerator. It will become 45 into 7 is 315. 315 upon 8 degrees. Let's convert this improper fraction into mixed fraction. It will become 39 3 by 8 degrees. So we have 39 whole degrees and 3 by 8 degrees. So we separate them and write it like this. 39 degree and 3 by 8 degree. We can convert 3 by 8 degree into minutes because it is less than 1 degree. So for converting it into minutes, I'm sorry, it's 8 over here. We know that 1 degree equals to 60 minutes, so we multiply it with 60 and it gets converted into minutes. So it is 39 degree into, let's multiply the numerator, it will become after simplification 22, this it will become 180, 180 by 8 can be written as, 180 by 8 can be written as 22, 4 by 8 minutes. So we got 22 complete minutes, so we can write it like this, 39 degree, 22 minutes into 4 by 8 minutes. Now this is less than 1 minute, so we can convert this quantity into seconds, another smaller unit. So it will be 39 degree, 22 minutes, and for converting 1 minute into seconds, we know that 1 minute is equal to 60 seconds. Therefore, 4 by 8 minutes will be equal to 4 by 8 into 60 seconds. For seconds, we use double dash. So it will become 39 degree, 22 minutes. Here you can see that it is 1 by 2. 4 ones are 4, 4 twos are 8. So it's 1 by 2. 60 by 2 will become 30 minutes. So 11 by 16 in radians is equal to 39 degree, 22 minutes, 30 seconds. Let's take another example. The question is, if minute hand, if minute hand of a clock, if minute hand of a clock is 1.5 centimeter long. 
is 1.5 centimeter long. Then, how far does then how far does its tip move? How far does its tip move in 40 minutes? If minute hand of a clock is 1.5 centimeter long, how far does its tip move in 40 minutes? So if we talk about a clock, if we talk about if we talk about the clock, let's take the minute hand like this. We are given that minute hand is 1.5 centimeter long. That implies we are given the radius. Now we need to find that in 40 minutes, if suppose this minute hand moves, if suppose in 40 minutes this minute hand moves from this point to some other point on the circle like this over here. Now minute hand is position over here. So we need to find that how far the minute hand move. So we need to find the length of this arc. So we have the radius. We have we are given that this movement is done in 40 minutes. So let's remind the formula. We know that length of arc is equals to r theta where theta is in radian. From now onwards, whenever you apply this formula L equals to r theta, remember that theta has to be in radians. Theta has to be in radians. So, so for L, we don't know L. We need to find the value of L. So we need to find the value of L. L is missing. R we have, we have R equals to 1.5 centimeter and theta we need to calculate. For calculating theta, let's remind the fact that in 60 minutes, one revolution is completed. In 60 minutes, one revolution is completed by the minute hand. So, in 40 minutes, in 40 minutes, 40 by 60, 40 by 60th revolution will be completed. After simplification, you will get 2 by 3 revolution. So, in, in 40 minutes, 2 by 3rd of the revolution is completed. Now, we know that in one revolution, the angle subtended by the R is 2 pi. So, in 2 by 3rd revolution, in 2 by 3rd revolution, the angle subtended by the arc will be 4 pi by 3 radians. So we have the radius, we have the angle. So we can apply the formula and get the value of R. So let's apply the formula and get the value of R. So we know that L is equals to R into theta. R is given to us as 1.5 centimeter and theta which is in radians now it is 4 pi by 3. So after simplification it will become 2 pi. Let's put the value of pi approximately 3.14. After putting this value you will get 2 into 3.14 centimeter that is 6.28 centimeter. So this is the distance which the minute hand is going to travel in 40 minutes. Let's take another example. Question is if in two circles if in two circles equal arcs if in two circle equal arcs subtend equal arcs subtend 60 degree and 75 degree respectively and find then find the ratio 
find the ratio of their radii. Find the ratio of their radii. So we are given that there are two circles in which the length of the arcs are equal. So let's take the length as L1 and L2. So we are given that L1 is equal to L2. Now these arcs subtend 60 degree and 75 degree angle respectively in the circles. We need to find the ratio of their radii. So we know that L1 is equal to L2. L1 is equal to L2 implies that L equals to R theta. So L1 can be written as R1 theta 1 and L2 can be written as R2 theta 2 where R1 is the radius of first circle and R2 is the radius of second circle. Theta 1 is the angle subtended by Theta 1 is the angle subtended by arc L1 and Theta 2 is the angle subtended by arc L2. Now for applying this formula we know that Theta should be in radians. Let's talk about what we need to find. We need to find the radius. We need to find the ratio of the radii. So from here R1 upon R2 will be equal to theta 2 upon theta 1. So theta 2 is going to be 75 degree. Convert. Let's convert them into radians. So 75 degree can be converted as 75 into pi by 180 radian. And theta 1 can be written as 60 into pi by 180 radian. Pi by 180, pi by 180 gets cancelled out. We get 75 upon 60, which gets simplified as 15 upon 12, and hence 5 by 4. So 5 by 4 is the required ratio.